In Project Navigator, I've created all of the constructs and elements, and have created some view files for plans and a building model file. I will use the building model to generate the exterior elevation views of the building. Let's review this. On the drawing status bar, the name of the project, file type, and name are listed. Minimizing Project Navigator, I'll switch to a top view. To generate the building elevations, from the Tools palette, Document Group, Callouts palette, I'll pick the Exterior Elevation Mark A3 tool. This places elevation symbols on all four building sides and generates four elevation views automatically. At the Specify First Corner of Elevation Region prompt, I'll pick above and to the left of my plan. At the Specify Opposite Corner of Elevation Region, I'll pick below and to the right of my plan. In the Place Callout dialog box at the top, you may pick the Callout Only button to place this simply as symbols or may create actual views. Views may be created in New, Existing, or the current view drawing. I want to create a new view drawing. At the bottom of the dialog box, I'll make sure that the boxes are checked for Generate Section Elevation and Place Title Mark. I'll make sure the plot scale is set to 1 8 inch equals a foot. At the top, in the New Model Space View Name area, I'll accept the default names. Picking the New View Drawing button, in the Add Section Elevation View dialog box, on the first page, General, for the name, I'll enter Building Elevations. Using the Category drop-down list, I'll pick the Section Elevation option. I'll accept the Drawing Default template, and then pick Next. On page 2, Context, I'll pick all four levels under Division Phase 1. This will XREF all of the constructs associated with these levels. I'll pick Next. On the third page, Content, I'll uncheck all of the constructs not to be XREFed, including all the building outline, core, and interior fit-out files, all the slabs, spaces, and framing files. I'll pick the Finish button. At the Specify Insertion Point for 2D Elevation Result Prompt, being aware that all of the reference files in this file will be in the new file as well, I'll pick a point above the site boundary. At the Pick a Point to specify the spacing and direction of elevations prompt, knowing that the spacing is the distance between the elevation views, I'll pick a short distance to the right. Project Navigator will figure out how wide each elevation is then use this distance as the space between them. Picking to the left or the right, the views will be generated horizontally. If I had picked up or down, they would have been generated vertically. After picking the second point, the Generating Elevations box appears, showing the view creation progress. When finished, we will see that the elevation tags have been placed around the building. These tags have fields for the attributes with a question mark value. These question marks will fill in when these views are placed on a sheet file layout tab. Minimizing the tool palettes, on the Views tab, Section Elevation Category, under the Building Elevations, there are four named Model Space views. In the Details section at the bottom of the Views tab, there are two tools. The left one is the Detail tool, the right one is the Preview tool. Once we open and save the file, we will see images of the overall file as well as each individual model space view. Double clicking on the file's name to open the building elevations file, we see the elevation views that were generated and they are labeled based on the names in the place callout dialog box. So using AutoCAD architecture to generate your building elevations is fairly simple. Keep in mind your elevations will only be as good as your constructs files so you want to invest the effort in drawing those correctly. Doing so, the benefit is that you may automatically generate the elevations as well as the sections. For the view title marks, there are again question marks in the attribute fields. These will fill in when these views are dragged and dropped onto sheet layout tabs. You may also specify the title mark tag to use in the tool palette elevation mark tools properties.